Companies deal in a variety of activities. I've categorized them into three areas, the good, the bad, and the ugly. In the ugly category, there's correctness. What is correctness? Correctness is when one individual likes to tell another individual how smart he is or she is and how they know more than the person that they're talking to. That might be great if they were in charge of making corrections and improvements to, uh, to certain aspects, but when they're not and they've hired the other individual to do that and now they become the expert, that becomes a problem. So correctness can have a very detrimental effect because the person who's being hired to come in and make the improvements is now put on the spot to either have to defend the actions that they're coming up with or to prove that they're smarter than the person that they're being employed by. An example I have of this was a client company that hired my firm and myself in order to develop and implement a clean room operation. If you're not familiar with a clean room operation, it's used particularly in the microchip area where you have to have air that is almost entirely pure, has no contaminants in it at all. In order to do that, you filter the air coming into and leaving the room to take out all the particulates so that nothing happens in the operation. That's what these folks needed and wanted. We went through the entire planning operation, developed RFPs for contractors, brought them in, had the whole game plan together, and then the company that we were working with decided that it was too expensive and instead of going with what we had planned, they would bring in a handyman operator that they had used before who would do all of the work. And instead of putting in the filtration system that was necessary, they would put window air conditioning units into their room and that would be good enough for a clean room operation. Well, that's not good enough for a clean room operation. Basically what you have is an air conditioned room, just like you would have in your living room or bedroom, certainly not a clean room operation. I told the organization that if that was the approach that they wanted to take, and suddenly they had now become the clean room experts that we could no longer work with them and would not be associated because our reputation was at stake. And when something went wrong, they would blame us for not telling them about the problem and basically giving them the okay that that was a clean room operation. So in essence, we fired that client. The implications of being correct are that you're not listening to your advisors, you're not utilizing their skills and expertise, and you're making the same mistakes over that occurred before you brought them in in the first place. That will lead to some serious ramifications and puts you in the ugly category. To learn more about what correctness is and how to avoid it, I cover that in my upcoming book, What About the Vermin Problem, which will be released in February 2020. Look for it, and I hope you read it.